Hello everyone, today I'll be going over the template management for the iText Detail Manager. The template management serves as a host for your templates that have either been imported or created to this point, as well as allowing you to filter through your templates to make for a more efficient search. There are two different ways to import your templates. You can import your you can import the format of your template in a .dta file here. Or if you go to settings in your advanced settings, you can actually import your legacy template in a .dto file here. When creating your when creating your template, you have four different options to choose from. You can create a header template, a standard template, or the body of your template, a footer template, or a composition template, which is a combination of the other three types of templates, and it doesn't necessarily have to be all three. And the great thing about composition templates is that it grants you, our users the ability to reuse headers, footers, or body templates across a variety of different output documents. And for this demo purpose, I'll be creating a composition template, giving it the name test. And you also have the ability when you create any type of templates, you have you can connect any data collection that has been added into your data management. However, for this demo purpose, I'll be creating a composition template without any data, any data bindings. Now, when creating a composition template, you'd be prompted to a page identical to mine. However, of course, it will reflect your own workspaces templates. And when you create a header, standard, or footer template, you'd be prompted to the iText Detail Editor page, where you can actually create and build out your template there. Under header templates, you can um, choose from a list of header templates that you wish to add into your composition templates. And for header templates, standard templates, and footer templates, you can add multiple types of those. And for headers and footer templates exclusively, you can edit them so that you can make them visible on either the first page or make them visible on all pages. And I'll be making my header visible on all pages. And you can add multiple standard templates here. And like I previously stated before, the footer footer templates you add into your composition templates allows you to choose where it's visible on. The RPG all pages should be visible on all pages, so I'll make those changes there. And for the first page RPG, it should be visible on only the first page. When you save this template, it will actually create your composition template, and it'll show a preview of it in the thumbnail section in the general settings. And under composition, you can see the different templates that actually make up this composition templates. As well as a way to edit the name on the left hand side and add or edit the description for it. Anytime you edit, change, or modify your composition template or any template, you uh, a new version of it will be created when you save and commit those changes. So if I go to so if I update my composition template and take out one of the header here and save it, create. If we go to my general, you can see in the thumbnail that that header is now gone. And if you go to composition, you can see that the header area is now empty. However, the other areas have not been changed. Now, if you go back to version history, you have the option to roll back to any previous version of your composition or any kind of template you've created. And I'm going to do so here. So I'm going to roll back to the first version that was created where the header template was still existing. And if you go to general, you can see now that the header template is now visible. And if you go to composition, it's because the header template is now there, has now been added back. Under permissions, you have the ability to add any um, three, different, three different kinds of security roles. You have administrator, global administrator, and template designer. And you can also edit the, the action list of the of the, of the permissions for a template designer here. I'm going to be taking the first two out, and you can see the change, and you can see that being saved here. I'm just going to delete this. And under dependencies, you can see a list of the templates that are associated with this composition template. When you're looking into a standard template or footer or header or header template, you will see all the resources and data collections that are tied to those templates. It's just the composition templates. It shows a list of the templates only that are associated with that composition. This, con this concludes the template management portion of the iText Detail Manager. 
Thank you all for tuning in.